Elise here. I wanted to talk a little bit about from fear to freedom, unlocking your confidence with mindfulness. When we're riding our horses, we sometimes just check out, you know, look at the scenery, see where we're going, talking with friends, and we sometimes don't stay tuned into our horses. And this reminded me of when I was going to a shopping center with a friend. And I was looking in all the windows and just walking along. And I didn't even know I had lost my friend. And she'd stepped into a store. And I just stood there in shock. And it was a little scary just because it was like she'd just disappeared. Well, think about that from our horses. If we're riding along and we're not engaging with our horses as we ride, we really don't even have a partnership, let alone a friendship. But if while we're riding, we can play games like I spy, we can have them move to the right, move to the left, flex the neck a little bit. We can work on getting looser, see how that feels in the horse. We can feel their rhythm. This is all part of mindfulness while we ride. And think about how much more our horses are going to be connected to us and how much more we're going to be connected to our horses. One of the really cool benefits of this is if your horse is starting to get a little spooky or a little anxious, you can tell by their ears. You can tell by how their body feels. And we may miss all of these symptoms because we're not being mindful with our horses. And it's easy to do. It's easy to just get into that rhythm and forget we're riding with a partner, having a conversation with them. So if this has resonated with you, I've got five other tips in my latest blog. I'll put a link in the comments. And I'll also put a link to my Courage Pennies ebook which just has little steps to do to soak up your courage pennies and being mindful of your courage, fill up your courage penny bank so that when something does happen with your horse, you're ready. See you guys.